Know that one of the most difficult desires to overcome is that of the stomach, because it is built into the natural human self. Hunger has been given to humans so that they may nourish their body. However, if left uncontrolled, the appetite of the stomach will become one of the greatest mortal vices, gluttony. The way to break the desire of the stomach is to prevent it from becoming full. In other words, maintaining a state of hunger. Hunger has 10 benefits. First, hunger purifies the heart and its spiritual perception. Second, it softens the heart and renders it more receptive to divine grace. Third, it humbles the ego. Fourth, it reminds one of the sufferings of the poor. Fifth, it weakens passion and enables one to control their desires, which is the greatest benefit. Sixth, it reduces the need for sleep. A full stomach leads to laziness. Seventh, it frees up time that otherwise would have been spent in preparing and eating food. Eighth, it has health benefits. Many diseases stem from overeating. Ninth, it saves money. And finally, tenth, it makes one more generous. Know that the merit of hunger does not lie in hardship, just as the merit of medicine does not lie in its bitterness. You should be aware of three rules regarding food. First, you should quantify the amount of food and eat only what is necessary to nourish the body. Next, you should estimate the speed and frequency with which you eat, eating as slowly and infrequently as possible. Finally, you should eat simple foods and avoid unnecessary luxury. Know that the stomach is the tank of the body and it irrigates its limbs and organs. The stomach's desire is the source of all other desires. When the stomach is full, other desires are activated. Thus, to control the desires of the body and prevent diseases of the heart, one must address its root cause and break the desire of the stomach. The objective of controlling the stomach's appetite is to attain a position between hunger and fullness, so neither one distracts from the remembrance of God. Know that the worst container you can fill is the stomach. One third of it is for food, one third is for drink, and the remaining third is for the remembrance of God.